I might live in New York these days, but my heart will always be in West Virginia. Here's a dish that I make sometimes when I'm homesick. Gus, do you want to go back home to West Virginia and visit your cousins? What do I make when I'm homesick? I whip up a batch of pepperoni rolls. But before I do that, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Hey, I'm Katie Lee, and here's what I'm eating now. Broccoli and pepperoni pinwheels and my trough salad. So let's get started. There we go. All right, a little bit of flour goes down. And I really like this canned crescent roll dough. You can do a lot with this. It's one of those good little easy tricks. And I'm just gonna roll it out and we're gonna leave it all in one piece. So I just kind of pinch together those seams. I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit more flour and then roll it. So I'm from West Virginia and pepperoni rolls might as well be the state sandwich. I guess if you call it a sandwich. Gus, you're my little pepperoni roll over there. <laughs> I'm gonna top it with my pepperoni now. Now I'm gonna add some broccoli. This is just frozen broccoli that I thawed and chopped. I know a lot of you are probably saying, broccoli doesn't go on pepperoni rolls. Well, I just kinda like the way the broccoli and the pepperoni goes together. Now I'm gonna season it with a little bit of garlic salt. And now the cheese. I love me some cheese. So mozzarella, this is a great melting cheese. And now it's time to roll. So it's just like if you were making cinnamon rolls. Just take it from the long edge. And it's okay that the seams are a little bit broken. It's all gonna get sealed together. Now I'm gonna cut this into about six or seven pieces. We've got a greased pan here. And I'm just gonna set these in, cut side up, and leave a little bit of space because they are gonna grow in the oven. 400 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes. You know, food is just so nostalgic and it really does have the power to just bring you back to a certain place and time in your life. Oh, look at that, grandma's biscuits. Love those, my number one favorite. Okay. Pepperoni pinwheels are done. Look at that. I'm gonna top them with some grated Parmesan because I like extra cheese, please. I've got one of my big trough salads. If you all follow me on social media, you know that I love a big salad. I get a lot of questions about what is the trough salad recipe. The truth is there is no recipe for it. It's whatever vegetables I've got floating around and stuff out of my pantry. So you see in here, I've got some iceberg lettuce, kale, red bell peppers. I've got pickled banana peppers, eggs. There's raisins, some canned garbanzo beans, cauliflower. I'm gonna even add some of this Parmesan to it because that's the beauty of the trough. You just add whatever you want. And I've got a glass of Lambrusco. I chose this Lambrusco to go with my pepperoni pinwheel because I think having that fizzy moment is really nice with that fatty pepperoni. And it's also got a nice fruitiness to it that balances out the spice of the pepperoni. Without further ado, I'm getting right in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mmm. No. I'm gonna get in here with my trough. This is how I like to do it. Usually sitting in front of the TV, watching something good. Like the kitchen. Mm, Mountain Mama, right here. Mm. I gotta call my mom, speaking of mamas, because she's gonna love the way that this looks. Hi, Mom. Hey, honey, what are you doing? Well, I was feeling a little homesick, a little nostalgic for West Virginia, so I gotta show you what I made. I made a big trough salad, and I made some pepperoni rolls. What are you doing? Yeah, that looks good. Well, I just happened to be eating a salad also. <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from the tree, did it? Oh, I know, I have a salad every day. Oh, well, I got a glass of wine too, so maybe I one-upped you. I have seven young dogs. <laughs> Not to be outdone. Right, right. All right, well, I love you, Mom. I love you. Thanks Talk to you fun. later. Bye. Bye. Gus, remember when we went to West Virginia? That tastes like home.
country roads. Right here, driving down them. Mm, 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 mm. What foods remind you of home? Tell me in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Food Network.